all summer long. Since upland birds began their nesting process, biologists have been conducting studies to get a handle on bird numbers. Adult bird counts, brood surveys, and the like, mostly done by putting on miles and staring through a pair of binoculars. All of those surveys are uh, what we consider opportunistic, where we go out and we just observe and, and record what we observe. Robinson says the observation studies are effective up to a point. You can't count each and every bird in areas where there's heavy cover or crop. And that's where their wing collection surveys fill in the gaps. The wing envelopes really provide, or the wing analysis really provides us concrete evidence on what our upland game populations are doing in a given year. Although biologists get an abundance of pheasant wings to analyze, they are woefully in need of grouse and partridge wings. Envelopes are already sent to a select number of hunters who purchase licenses. And if they indicate they hunt grouse or partridge, we will send them a, a wing envelope that, that next year. In order to get the needed sample size, Robinson's targeting a new group, grouse and partridge hunters who simply want to volunteer to help. We have a link on our main website where you can uh, indicate you want uh, wing envelopes and we will send you as many as you want. Robinson and his wing analysis crew need around 1,500 wings to get a good statistical sample on grouse and partridge. Last year, they got 300. If you're a dedicated and passionate hunter and want to help, go to the Game and Fish website at gf.nd.gov and volunteer. This is Tom Jensen, Outdoors.